Hello besties, in today's video we are going to be uncovering some messages from your future self. Some messages that we will be channeling are number one, guidance with some clarification, number two, something you need to hear, number three, some tough love, and number four, what is your life purpose? So how this is going to work is I want you to pick a crystal that you see right here on the screen and then after you have made your decision, go ahead and check the description box or the pinned comment and the timestamp for the crystal that you chose will be there. I want you to go to that timestamp and that will be your reading with messages from your future self. Without further ado, we are going to get started with Obsidian. Hello beautiful people who chose the Obsidian and welcome to your reading where together we are uncovering some messages from your future self. So we are going to start with some guidance with some clarification. So we have the three of feathers, release and recovery, and we have peace. So what your future self wants you to know is that you are holding on to burdens and it's time to let them go. Whether it's something that happened in the past that you're holding on to, whether it's an idea for the future that you're worried about and you're trying to hold on to, there's something that you need to let go because if you don't let this thing go, you will never be at peace. I get the vibe that there may be someone that you need to forgive. I feel like you're holding yourself back from entering a new chapter of your life because you can't forgive this person. You know the saying, forgive, don't forget. I feel like you haven't done either of them and I feel like it's time to forgive. Maybe you need to forgive yourself for something. Maybe you need to forgive somebody for what they did to you. There is some forgiveness that needs to be had. With this recovery keyword being here, I feel like there is something that needs to be recovered from, whether it's some kind of addiction. And addiction doesn't just deal with substances. It can be an addiction to a person. It can be an addiction to your phone, an addiction to a bad habit of some sort, but there is some bad habit that needs to be broken and I feel like you know what it is. And if receiving some type of counseling or therapy would help you heal and recover, that would definitely be something that your future self wants you to do. I feel like your future self is trying to let you know that you could really benefit from some counseling. I feel like just getting things off of your chest and talking about them is really going to help you. And your future self is definitely advocating for you right now. Okay, next up we have something you need to hear. We have sundress, do it for you. I feel like this goes hand in hand with this right here, getting help, doing it for you. You need to put yourself first. You need to recover for you. If we only do things for other people, like if we only go to counseling for other people or if we enter recovery for somebody else to make somebody else happy, I feel like we're not really doing ourselves justice. So just keep that in mind. Make sure if you're doing something, you're really doing it for yourself because you want it to stick, you want it to last. You want to break these bad habits. You wanna be able to get something off of your chest and feel better and not feel like there's still something gnawing away at you. All right, next up, we do have a tough love message from your future self. We have innocence. I have so much to do as the trigger statement and the true statement is I am playful, tangerine. And then the message at the bottom is, let the burdens of responsibility go in this moment and look at your world with the eyes of a child. When you think of your younger self, your inner child, you want to make them happy. You want them to feel safe and protected. If you met a younger version of yourself, would they be happy with who you are now? Would they be happy with the way that you treat your body and treat yourself? And I feel like really doing some inner child work in being playful and doing things that make you feel happy would really help you. And for what is your life purpose, we have support. Your life purpose fully supports you. I feel like what your future self is trying to say is that you are finally supported in the way that you've been needing to feel supported. But what it's going to take is that you need to take the first steps and good things will follow. When you start putting in the energy to recover, putting in the energy to heal your inner child and heal any negative feelings that you have, I feel like good things will follow. You just need to take the first steps. If the universe sees that you are putting in the effort, then you will most definitely be rewarded. And I feel like that's what your future self is trying to let you know, is that you need to take the first steps, but you have to do it for you. And that was your reading group number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hello, beautiful people who chose the rose quartz and welcome to your reading where we will uncover some messages from your future self. 
So the first thing we are going to start with is some guidance with some clarification. So we have the Ten of Acorns, Responsibility, Dedication, and Faith. I feel like what your future self is trying to let you know is that have faith that your hard work and your dedication will pay off. You are making incredibly responsible and smart decisions right now and I want you to know that it does pay off in the long run. The late nights, the stressing, I know it's hard right now and it may feel like there's no end in sight but I promise you everything is going to be okay in the end and your hard work is not for nothing. Something else that is coming through is that you're not behind, you're not behind anyone, you're not missing out, you are right where you need to be, and comparison is the thief of joy, so if you are comparing yourself to your friends or people you see on the internet or whoever it is, just know that everybody is on their own life journey, everybody is on their own path, and you are right where you need to be right now. Moving on, we have something you need to hear from your future self, and that is homeward. Take yourself out on a date. I feel like this really just has to do with self-love and not waiting for anyone to do things for you or take you places. I feel like there may be a little bit of anxiety on your end about going places by yourself or spending time by yourself, not having anyone to go and do things with. I also get the sense that there's a little bit of embarrassment. But I want you to know you have no reason to be embarrassed. Your future self wants you to challenge this idea that you're going to be embarrassed or you're anxious about going and doing things by yourself because you don't want to look lonely. You don't want to look like you don't want people to see you and be like, oh, my God, like this person's by themselves. Like, that's weird. I promise you nobody is thinking that you're the only one that is thinking that about yourself. So if there's a movie coming out soon that you have really wanted to go see, but you don't have anybody to go with you, definitely go and do that go and have your own picnic at the park pack up all of your favorite foods or get some of your favorite food to go and just go sit in some grass by a pond at a park and eat and just enjoy your own company but yeah i feel like your future self really wants you to start challenging yourself and doing more things alone next up for the tough love section we have yarrow palm divination with the trigger statement i am so drained the true statement being i am shielded and the message at the bottom you are finding balance as you see what resonates and what does not with clear sight you are safe and protected i feel like what your future self is trying to tell you is that you may be in the middle of finding out where you belong, finding out who you enjoy spending your time with, who you do and don't want in your life. And your future self wants you to know that it's normal to outgrow people and it's also normal to outgrow places. So if you're unhappy at your current job, if you're unhappy living with your current roommate, if you're unhappy with the major that you're doing in school, you have the power to make the first steps in changing those things. Something that's popping into my head right now is the term energy vampires. If you hang out with a certain group of people or one person in particular and every time you are done hanging out with them, you just feel drained, you don't feel happy, you don't feel positive, you don't agree with their mindset or their ideas on things, you don't have to hang out with them if it's somebody you live with or if it's somebody that you have to see at work or school every day because I understand we don't have 100% control over who we see for how long every day. You can choose to exit the conversation. If they try to start a conversation with you and you don't like where the conversation is going, make sure you advocate for yourself and you stand up for yourself and you don't have to be aggressive with it. You may be somebody who does not like conflict at all and you would rather just stay talking to the people because you don't know what their reaction is going to be. Maybe you can try to change the conversation or tell them you're busy and you're needed somewhere else or you really need to focus on the assignment or the notes that you're taking and kind of just stop talking to them. And if they keep bothering you, report them to someone. And lastly, the card that your future self wanted you to see regarding your life purpose is teaching. You inspire young people to learn. So if you had an interest in teaching, if you had an interest in working in a daycare, working with kids, maybe look into that. If you don't want to work with small children, you could always try to work at a high school. Maybe you've been wanting to make a difference in your hometown high school where you went to school. You just know there's things that could be improved on, there's things that need to be changed. 
and your future self wants you to know that you could definitely make a difference in someone's lives by teaching them. And that was your reading group number two. I hope you enjoyed it. Hello, beautiful people who chose the Soda Light and welcome to your reading where together we will uncover some messages from your future self. Starting out, we have some guidance as well as some clarification. We have the Queen of Shells, peace and compassion as well as comfort. Your future self wants you to know that where you are in the future, your life is finally peaceful. The way you see the world with compassion and you try to see the good in everyone is what helps you be at peace. Just know that your gentle, loving nature will pay off. And you have comfort in knowing that you have never done anyone wrong. You treat everyone with kindness, everyone with respect. And you have grown up to learn not to take things so personally. If someone is rude to you at the grocery store, if somebody is having a bad time while they're driving and they try to speed up past you because you're not going fast enough, I feel like you a couple years ago would kind of cry and get really upset and take things really personally, but your future self wants you to know that you are growing into somebody who sees the world with passion and sees the world through kind eyes and in a gentle way but you also don't let anyone's of anyone's actions bother you and your future self definitely wants you to keep that compassionate nature don't let the world turn you into a cold person just know that future you is living such a peaceful life a calm life i feel like that's just what you crave in life is just calmness and stability and just easy going and I feel like future you is definitely living that right now so I hope you find peace in knowing that. Next up we have something you need to hear. We have garden. Something lovely will grow from this. So whether you are considering furthering your education, whether you're in the middle of starting a small business, if you are in the talking stage of a relationship and you're about to enter a new one, you may be offered a new job opportunity soon. There's something that's going to come into your life very soon and there's something you've been debating doing for a long time and your future self wants you to know that whatever it is, it's going to go far. You just need to take a leap of faith. I feel like you have definitely become comfortable in your routine and your schedule and that's perfectly fine but don't be afraid to try new things because something lovely will grow from it something like a marriage proposal if it is a new relationship you're entering, something like a dream job or a dream career opportunity that you're going to be offered but you feel like you may need to decline it because you are so used to the way that your life is and it may cause a little bit of a disruptance or a big change and you just you don't really handle change that well but future you is advocating very hard for you to take the leap of faith and go with the change that is entering your life go with the new thing there's just a whole lot of newness next up we have a tough love message we have soothing soothe with the trigger statement i need to fix this and the true statement being i am willing to learn from this it says lift yourself above your life situation and observe as a witness understand that you are so much more than the story what i am getting from this is that your future self is trying to let you know that you can't fix everything you can't fix everyone and you can try as hard as you want to to achieve perfection and try to make everybody happy but at the end of the day someone is always going to have something to say about what you do and somebody is always not going to agree with what you do somebody is always going to have something to say Something that your future self wants you to know is that what people think of you is none of your business. You can't fix everything. You can't make everyone happy. And lastly, what your future self wants you to know about your life purpose is your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Maybe a career in the criminal justice system could be calling you something in social work. Social work specifically kind of stands out to me. I feel like you have shown interest in getting into social work, but maybe the people around you are like, oh, they don't make enough money to do all that, blah, blah, blah. Like they have something negative to say about social work, but social workers are so incredibly crucial and they change so many lives and they advocate for so many people. And I feel like that's what you want to do. You want to advocate for people and you want to help people. And future you is definitely trying to let you know do not let what other people say stop you from pursuing what it is that you want to do. Don't let other people stop you from helping people who need your help. 
And that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Hello, beautiful people who chose the amethyst and welcome to your reading where together we will uncover some messages from your future self. So starting out, we have some guidance with some clarification. We have the five of shells, hope and readjustment as well as flow. I feel like what your future self is trying to let you know is that you're going to go through big changes and you need to just go with it. Your life needs a bit of a change, a bit of a disruptance, and it's important that you see it positively and just know that there is hope for the future. I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting the vibe that you recently put all your eggs in one basket and it kind of fell through. What you thought was going to happen didn't happen and you're kind of in an adjustment phase after that and you may have not been the most hopeful for the future, but I feel like there's going to be a change that is going to enter your life very soon and... It may be the complete opposite of what you thought was going to happen or what you thought you were interested in, what you thought you were going to do, but it's going to open a whole new chapter for you. It's going to open a whole new door. I feel like that happens a lot of times. We really want something and then we don't get it, but after a certain amount of time passes, we realize that that was for the better. Future you is trying to let you know to get ready for some disruptance in your life, some big changes, and just go with it. Don't don't resist it. Next up, we have something you need to hear. We have that fire. Stand up for yourself. I feel like future you wants you to start saying no and to start advocating for better treatment, better pay. You put in so much effort and you are a crucial part of every team that you're on and every group that you're in and you don't feel like you're getting the right payment, the right recognition for it and a future you wants you to start standing up for yourself something very specific that is coming up with this is there may be people around you for example people in your friend group who make jokes whether it be about your physical appearance or your family members or decisions that you've made that you're not proud of they kind of joke about it and you're not really 100 percent comfortable with that i feel like people get a little bit too comfortable joking about other people's appearance or things that they've done and I feel like there are some jokes that are made about you that you are not really the biggest fan of and you haven't really wanted to tell people not to make those jokes because you don't want to start any conflict but if something is really bothering you certain jokes that are being made you need to stand up for yourself it could be as simple as just saying hey I really don't like when you make jokes about my acne or make jokes about how I look with no makeup or decisions that I've made in school. You know, it's just, it can be as simple as just saying, hey, I really don't like that and I would prefer if you didn't make jokes about that. Next up for some tough love, we have Magnolia Amplify with the trigger statement, I can't get anything right. The true statement being, I am in divine time, and the message being, harness your loving energy and watch as one miracle unfolds after another. I feel like some tough love that your future self is trying to tell you is you really need to stop with the negative self-talk. The self-deprecating humor really needs to go, and this may be why the people around you feel so comfortable with making jokes about you or the way you look or the decisions that you've made is because you do it you just you really need to start speaking and thinking about yourself with kindness and lastly something that your future self wants you to know about your life purpose is oracle cards you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others i feel like you are somebody who has a very strong intuition and you've kind of been pulled to these kinds of things i mean you're here watching this reading you obviously have some kind of interest in it and i feel like you may have a gift when it comes to tarot and oracle cards and discerning answers for yourself and others and i feel like future you really wants you to get into this so if you felt an interest in tarot and oracle cards, I would definitely recommend doing some more research, maybe purchasing your own tarot deck or oracle deck if you've seen one that catches your eye. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hello, beautiful people who chose How Light, and welcome to your reading, where together we will uncover some messages from your future self. So starting out, we have some guidance as well as a clarifier. So we have the Four of Feathers, Sanctuary and Rest, as well as Anger. I feel like what future you is trying to say is that you need to walk away from situations that you know are going to anger you because no matter how hard you try, some people you just can't get through to. 
Some people are so set in their ways and they're so stubborn in their beliefs, even if their beliefs are not the kindest or not the most moral. I feel like you are somebody who tries to get them to see the other point of view on things, but some people are just beyond that. They're beyond trying to get to trying to get them to see the other perspective on things. And I feel like you have a lot of anger with the state of the world right now, the way certain groups of people are talked about, the way women are being treated, and you just don't understand how people can have the viewpoints that they have. But I feel like future you is trying to tell you to save your time, at least when it comes to like social media arguments and argu arguing with people in comments, and instead use that energy on your own platform so sharing things sharing informational things on your instagram story or with your friends something else that i'm getting from this is that you are not resting or sleeping enough and that is also making you very angry and just not feeling the best mentally i feel like you're somebody who is always going and going and going and future you is trying to tell you to just relax a little bit get a bit more sleep I feel like one to two more hours of sleep will really help you feel a lot better. So next up for something that you need to hear is feast, slow down, and celebrate yourself. Future you is telling you don't feel guilty for celebrating you. Celebrate your accomplishments, celebrate yourself. Something else that is coming up with this card is the term productivity competitions. Some people don't even realize that they're in one, but you may be in a productivity competition with yourself. For example, if you're like, okay, I finished three papers last week and I've only finished one paper this week. Or if you're like, I've only done 20 minutes of cardio this week instead of your usual like two hours. It's okay to slow down. It's okay to not be as quote-unquote productive as we were the week before. You could also even be in a productivity competition with the people around you. For example, if you are in a group chat or if you're hanging out with your friends and one of your friends is like, I had to work a 12-hour shift last week. I had to cover for somebody who didn't come in. And then you're like, oh yeah, I had to, I had to do a 16-hour day. Or I worked 50 hours last week. And you're not even saying these things with Ill, any ill intentions. I just feel like we don't always need to prove that we are as productive or more productive than other people. And I feel like that's something that future you is trying to make you more aware of. So next up for some tough love, we have turmeric belief with the trigger statement, it is too late. The true statement being, I am free to believe. And the message being, you are clearing away beliefs, energy, and memories that no longer serve you, so the necessary decisions will be made. I feel like what future you is trying to let you know is that it's never too late to change your surroundings, it's never too late to change your friend group, it's never too late to change your life. Just because you've grown up with these people, maybe you've known these people since elementary school or middle school or for years, and they're just growing into people that you don't really like, it's okay to change out your friend groups. It's okay to outgrow people. So future you definitely wants you to start taking a more analytical look at your life and the habits that you have and the people that you surround yourself with and make a decision on if you're truly happy with what's going on. And lastly, what your future self wants you to know about your life purpose is leadership, take charge of the situation. So you are definitely somebody who needs to be in a leadership position. You excel at everything you try, you give things your all, and you really need to be a leader. But I feel like people are going to be intimidated by you. They've probably been intimidated by you in the past and people are going to be intimidated by you in the future. But don't let that stop you and don't let that hold you back from furthering your life and entering a leadership position because I know for a fact that you will make a difference whatever you are a leader of or a leader in. You've been led by people in the past. You know what works, you know what doesn't work, you know what people respond to versus what they really don't like. And your future self just wants you to know that you are a natural born leader and you need to embody that. And that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright besties, that is the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you are not already subscribed, and feel free to check out some of my other videos. I have some tarot readings as well as some vlogs. Let me know in the comments if your reading resonated with you. 
And yeah, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching.